Hello everyone, my name is Murray with AmpusFilms.com and today we're going to take a look at the biggest transition pack that we've ever created. It's taken four people to collaborate with, including myself, thousands of hours and thousands of dollars to create. So I hope this is worth it. <laughs> it better be. Over the past several years, I've been creating custom transition packs for OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, After Effects, Premiere Pro. And so I decided to bring a team together in order to create this product. This is kind of a hybrid between all the packs that I've created, which by the way, are free. If you want a free pack, um, links are down below ampusfilms.com. So this custom transition pack stinger, it's being created by editors for editors and streamers. So you can be sure that this is actually something that you would really appreciate. A lot of it is built for the beginners and it was also built for professionals. So if you know what you're doing, great. If you don't, that's also cool. We put in effects that allow you to drag and drop sliders check boxes and simple color changing systems so that you can customize your pack to however you like, make it your own, brand it to however you like it, make it unique so that it's not like everyone else's. And this takes literally seconds. And this even comes with a full refund money back guarantee. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this pack. And we've created this with the premises of a whole bunch of frequently asked questions from the previous packs that I've created. So I've taken all of those and we've made a hybrid of this pack of what people have been asking for. And also there's support and questions answered in this pack as well. So that if you run into any issues, you have the tools right at your fingertips to be able to edit it and to solve those issues. And you learn a couple of things as well, but we've made it pretty simple and straightforward so that you can spend more time on the things that really matter rather than spending time on building a pack yourself. So this pack is compatible with OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, after Effects and Premiere Pro with the future release being available in DaVinci Resolve, most likely that hasn't been confirmed yet, but fingers crossed, depending on how well this pack does, we'll add a DaVinci Resolve version as well. And maybe a Final Cut Pro 10 version, we'll see. But if you don't have any editing software to customize this pack to however you like with your own branding, don't worry, we also have rendered options without branding so that you can have the logo however you like without having to go into any editing software and to customize and take out specific branding and anything like that. To be able to use this pack, you don't have to have any special editing software. You can literally slap it into your stream software of choice and you're good to go nothing else needed. So if you're familiar with the free packs that I've done in the past, because if you take a look at the analytics from my top four products, three of those are the Stinger transitions that we give away. And you can see there's a lot of them. If you count the two top performing ones, those are both free Stinger transitions. 120,000 copies have been sold combined. That's just in the last six months. So you can see just how much people love these packs. This is definitely a step up and something that I know a lot of people will appreciate. So I've spoken a lot about it, but let's check it out. Okay, so once you've downloaded the entire project from your email, you'll see this zipped file and you simply right click on it and you can extract it. Once you've done that, you'll see that this file has a lot of info here. So you've got sound effects, transition one, two, three, four, and there's gonna be more in the future. Every time one is added, you'll receive an email and you get a free upgrade to the new transition pack. You get lifetime access to this pack, which is really nice. You've got video tutorials, so in each transition, it shows you how to edit each one. That's very useful. But if you don't like video tutorials, you've got the user guide here, 
and this has got everything you need to know about the pack. So you've got a chapter list, you can learn how to edit each individual transition, and you've got a lot of other useful tips here to help you get the most out of your pack. That way you don't miss out on any opportunities and you can take your branding to the fullest extent that this pack will let you take it to. But as you can see, there's a lot of little useful tools here to help you customize it literally in seconds so that you can spend more time on the things that really matter when it comes to your business rather than trying to figure out how to edit this thing. So there's sliders, there's buttons here, there's check boxes to help you choose what you want. And of course, there's the developers here, myself, Nico Motions, Adam, who's also the editor here at Ampus Films. And we've got Jimmy as well, who's helped with the graphic stuff. So if you want other support, the Discord link is right over here. If you're having any issues after reviewing any of the material here to show you how to use this pack, feel free to jump into the Discord. I have moderators, a support team and myself who can help you. Uh, you can also provide screenshots and video content to help us figure out what issue you might be encountering. But chances are, if you have an issue, these will help you fix that issue, how to edit that Stinger transition. Also, in the video tutorials here, you can learn how to solve any of those issues. So you shouldn't have any issues. Terms and conditions, this is just some of the legal stuff. Ultimately, it's just saying that Ampus Films does own this pack. You cannot resell it and you cannot redistribute it. However, you can edit it to however you like for your branding and for your personal uses. It all boils down to you just can't resell the pack. That's really it. Now, in each transition pack here, you can see that there's a renders file. Each product has been rendered out without any branding so that in case you don't have After Effects or Premiere Pro, maybe you have a different editor, you can just import these into your other editing software, snap on your brand real quick, and you're good to go. There's other info here as well. Uh, to install the fonts, just right click on the fonts. You can select them all, right click, and you can click install or install for all users, depending on what you prefer. Now there's more info here. It's just all the effects that were used in this pack. None of these are third party software. It's all native to After Effects. So you don't have to have any plugins or extra pieces to purchase to actually use the product. Assets folder, that's pretty self-explanatory. You don't need to touch this folder. It's really just for products that are in After Effects here to allow it to work the way it's supposed to work. So you can see this pack has been made pretty robust. Everything has been thought of for you to make it easy for people who don't know what they're doing or for the advanced people, they can also customize it even further to however they prefer. Now you thought that was it, but no, I've also got more material on how to use this pack even further and utilize it to the best of your abilities. So let's take a look and see how to use this in OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. Keep in mind these principles can apply to XSplit or any other streaming software you have, but these ones are the common ones, so we're gonna use these as examples. Okay, so let's say you want to use your Stinger transition in OBS Studio. Now, this is very straightforward. First, you have your Scene Transitions tab, which if you don't have that, just go to your View tab over here, go to Docs, and you can find the scene transitions box over here. Once you've pulled that up, make sure that in this drop down you select Stinger, go to the settings button over here and go to properties and you can choose your video file. So click browse, locate the one that you want. Most of these transitions cover the screen at about one second into the transition, which means that's 1000 milliseconds. So the transition point here is 1000 milliseconds that's when the screen of the transition changes to the next screen that you want to change to. Now, if your transition has sound effects, make sure you have monitor and output. You don't want to do monitor only because otherwise only you will hear this sound effect and your stream will not hear it. So do monitor and output so that you can hear the sound effects in your headset and your stream will be able to hear the transition as well. Next, what you want to do is fade out to a transition point, then fade in. You don't want to do crossfade because your voice will fade out if the transition is active, you don't want to be able to not hear your voice during the transition is happening. Now, if you want to make sure that it all works, you can preview the transition. I can hear that in my headset and you can hear it too because it's going into OBS. So now if you click OK, that's all set up. Let's say we want to go to our screen. Here we go. Very nice transition. That's without the branding. Obviously, you can have your own branding when you customize it to however you like. 
Okay, so here we're going to look and see how to change your Stinger transition for Streamlabs OBS. You can see right now I have a different transition, which by the way, that's a free template if you want on the website ampusfilms.com. You can download that if you want for free. But in order to add your Stinger transition to Streamlabs OBS, click the Edit Scene Transitions button over here. And you can see here I already have a couple others. Let's go ahead and add a transition over here. And let's just make sure that it's a Stinger. So right there, let's choose the video file. So browse it on your computer. Once you've found it, then in the milliseconds here, let's add, or actually you can even do frames, but let's do milliseconds, that's easier. Most of the Stinger transitions are covering the screen one second into the transition, which is 1000 milliseconds. So let's add a thousand milliseconds. Let's make sure that it's monitor and output so that your stream can hear it and you can hear it. If you just have monitor only, only you will be able to hear your stinger transition. And then make sure you have fade out transition point, then fade in. Do not have crossfade because your voice will fade in and out during the stinger transition. So have this active so that your voice is heard the whole time during the transition. Then you can click done and make sure it's selected here. Click done and then you can switch to your next scene. Very cool. Obviously, this one is without the branding because you guys get that option if you don't have After Effects or Premiere Pro. Or you can just use your own editor at home and just add in your logo afterwards. Now, currently, this pack is being released on Black Friday, which is November 27th, 2020. So currently, a coupon is available called Black Friday 20. You can get 20% off at checkout and there's no other deal like it. It'll never be cheaper than this. So grab that now whilst you still can. One awesome thing about this pack is you get unlimited access to this pack in the future. So if there's any updates or patch notes or anything like that, you'll get an email about it and you can download the updated versions. So when more transitions are added to the pack, you get an update in your email and you can download the update without spending any extra money. You get lifetime access to this. But if you buy this pack now, you'll get a cheaper price than anyone does further down the road because the more transitions we add to this pack, the more expensive it's going to get. So grab it now so that you get unlimited access to it for the future. So there you go, a very unique product and hopefully very helpful to your streaming or editing needs. Remember, you can get unlimited access to this if you download it now at the cheapest price you can get. And then future updates with new transitions, you get to download those for free. So lifetime access, nothing like it. If you enjoyed the video and you think the product deserves it, leave a like down below, that'd really be appreciated. Subscribe for the future, stick around, there's more products coming up and more videos and tutorials on how to stream, edit, and just make your videos look really awesome. I really hope you enjoy the holidays and I'll see you next week, but until then, make something great.